everyone, this is Daryl20, and welcome to episode 87 of FTB Revelations, uh, where today we're continuing to automate all the generators from X Utilities. Uh, last episode we completed, uh, well, I mean, we've got survival done, uh, we've got overclocked with a lava crystal in there, we've got TNT going into the explosive generator, it lasts longer than just gunpowder, so that's cool. We automated pink dye, which should by this point... Uh, have back stuff its way into completion, right? Nice. This was my expectation, right? I, I purposely made it so that the drawers last episode wouldn't void, so that we get, you know, lots of pink dye, but it back stuffs itself to the point where it stops the machines running. So we're not wasting power and resources. Um, neither of which we are short on by any stretch of the imagination, but still. Uh, today we need to automate more. Uh, so we've got some other tricky ones to get going, right? So we've got like halitosis and other things. Uh, that we might need to worry about. You, sir, I would like to flip over to blocks of coal because that's what I've been automating with. Uh, so halitosis, disenchantment, frosty, those might be the ones we do today and we'll see how we get going with it. So halitosis generators are pretty straightforward. They only take dragon's breath. However, they last for 10 minutes, right? Um, so we've got a dozen dragon's breath, not a huge amount per se. We can get that from the pristine ender dragon matter. That's cool. That's cool. And we just have to kill an ender dragon a few times to pull that off? I mean... Should we do that? Thoughts? Thoughts and thoughts and things? Might not be the worst idea in the world. I mean, we automated the ender dragon already, right? Um, but this might be fun, right? Like, to... to, to I'm curious how much armor tech this uses. Let's do the thing, shall we? So all we have to do is pop over to the end, right? Uh, what we want is uh, to have those experience laying around. Dyer, you are a mess. Clean up after yourself, would you, buddy? Uh, deep mob learning, right? And then we can pop this dude into here. Keep this in my offhand. Six kills to go. So I'll just run this through six times, but I'll make sure that I get the killing blow with my sword. And uh, that should get me what I need. And then we can pop this dude into the deep mob learner, and that'll get us Dragon's Breath? I don't see why not. I mean, there's I, I can't imagine there's an actual way to automate this otherwise, right? Do I even have end crystals in there? I do, apparently. Yay! <laughs> I never did the automation of put end crystals into, but, you know, I probably could. Probably could. So what we want to do then is kill the dragon with our sword, right? Like you're you're doing a good job there, but and I have to kill him six times, so that's not a big deal. I'll do most of it off camera. Five to go. All right. So let me kill him six times, and then we can automate halitosis that way. All right. So this should be the last ender dragon to kill. Hooray! Basic model. Sweet. I didn't even stick around for the egg. What a bad dire wolf, I should. Or, or not the egg, the heart. Words. What's the deal? Will it teleport like from anywhere directly into my inventory or how does that work? I don't even know. I guess it's still going up there. I guess. I don't even know. Oh, there it is. All right, I got it. Sweet. All right, uh, so that's cool. Uh, by way of these dudes. I know, everybody's like, use a torch, Direwolf. I know, I know. This is more fun, though. Isn't this a more fun way to do it? Anyway, uh, we are going to take this uh, dragon data model doohickey now, right? And uh, get ourselves what we need to get in order to do things, right? So we want deep mob learning. We want a simulator, right? Simulation chamber, shouldn't be too hard. We're gonna need two of these machines, I suspect. So let's just get two of them going. Uh, and we'll just grab a handful of these because we always need more. Simulation chamber and loot fabricator. Beautiful, that's cool. <clears throat> and uh, what do we got going on? Oh, we got a lot of stuff going on here. That's right. You guys need to be like up and down and all around, aren't you? Tricky, tricky. How am I going to set this up? Well, I mean, it's not that big a deal. So there's an ME port. I can move this easily enough. Um, yeah, you 
you should be able to be okay. I know. You and your sightedness. Well, <clears throat> let's get the simulation chamber going first, right? So what we're going to want to do here then, simulation chamber, um, we're probably going to need more RF than that. But we're going to find out. I don't know how, how much RF we're going to need, but I suspect it's quite a bit. So let's get the dragon out of here. Um, how much RF attack we're going to use? 2,560. Ah, we should be fine. We should be fine. And then you are insert on brown, extract on green. Insert on brown, extract on green. Insert on brown. That should get you the polymer clay. Ooh, man, that is using a lot of RF. How much are you again? 5120? You should be able to support that, RF. Maybe I need to upgrade you. Conduits. Conduits. Boop. 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 Now let's figure out where you guys come from. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, you have a long conduit list, don't you? My oh my. Oh, that's where you come from. Okay, cool. I might have to break and replace this thing. It's a silly way to do it, Direwolf, but okay. I think this is actually a decently long conduit line, so... Because it's all up here, and then I think it's everything down in that back room is the same conduit line, isn't it? So are you guys groovy now, with Dragon? Dragon, you have net gain? Yeah, you're full. That's cool, at least. All right, so while that's running, we can upgrade all this stuff because I suspect everything is now needing replacement, right? Man, that's going to take a minute. Be right back. Man, that was a lot of wiring, but I think I got it all. Hope I didn't miss any. I'll tell you, this Yetta wrench being able to hide the other conduits, I mean, that's just, that's just the best. It is just the best. It is super cool and handy. Yeah, I'll call that a win. All right, so now that we've got that cooking, let's see, can I sneak into this guy? So you're going to extract on green, always active. You're gonna come down here and we're gonna add extraterrestrial matter to the export, which is cool. Which should start clearing out the extraterrestrial matter stuff. This is the part where I always get confused. Cause you extract on green, always active. So why aren't you extracting on green? Or maybe actually, no, wait. Yeah, that's right, you don't extract on green, always active. We extract out the bottom for this one, don't we? Right? Or is it out the back? It might be out the back. Well, that's going to be a hassle then, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Maybe I can extract out the side. So north will be nothing, south will be nothing, and you on the west will be extract always active on green. And you'll start taking the extraterrestrial matter out. Maybe. Yay! Oot, it works. All right, cool. Uh, hey, you. Can we get some facades in here? Because I'm going to need a couple of you at least. Now, with regards to the pristine ender dragon matter, uh, what I'm thinking is back here, we could set up a loot fabricator, right? Um, that might not be a terrible idea. I like that plan. Where can I sneak this in, in a way that makes sense? Because what I'd like to ideally do, um, maybe I'll just drop it right over here. Yeah, let's do that. I like that plan. So here's what I'm thinking. Okay, you ready for this? This is the plan. We're going to pop this dude down, okay? Uh, I'm thinking a filter. And can't I put filters on things? Hello. I happen to land in exactly the wrong spot. Good job, direwolf. I can open this filter, can I? Yeah, shift right click it, you can open it ahead of time, right? So filter pristine ender dragon matter, whitelist, right? Uh, you're going to get an item conduit on top. You're going to be insert on green with a filter, not extract. And you're going to be set to that, and that's cool. Okay? So that, in theory, I connect these dudes like so, and you should have a pristine ender dragon matter showing up in here at some point. 
Yay, it worked. Beautiful. And I'm going to tell you Dragon's Breath is the thing to get. Nice. Okay. And then what I'm going to have is a storage bus that will be extract only. Not that I think it has a lot of choice, but nonetheless. Um, and we're going to filter you to be Dragon's Breath extract only. Cool? And that should be cool. And now we connect you up to the cabling that we already have in our inventory. Uh, where's a good, a good, a good cable line? All right, let's just check our channel use over here. Um, really, I've got eight channels in use already. Goodness, goodness, direwolf, you've got eight channels in use, don't you? Um, 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 um. Where does this go? This goes to some ME drive doohickey. Okay, I know where that goes. Uh, but you're doing eight channels in use, huh? Uh, mum, 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 mum. What I should probably do then. What I should probably do is have another P2P here. Cool. And what we're going to do is get our memory card. We're going to clear you. Ah, elevator, please. So this is a uh, 19 out of 32. Copied current device configuration. I'm going to disconnect everything over there for a minute. Right, so that we can run our cabling. And then what I'm going to do is, is, is break you and you. And we will have this and this. And we will load these two up. And then we can have cable, cable, cable. And then that should be four channels online. And this should be five channels online. Beautiful. And everybody should be back up and running. And you're at 20 out of 32, which is cool, actually. Actually, that's interesting. Uh, we we, we overcommitted channels and never noticed. At some point in our past, we overcommitted channels. I have no idea where or how, but we totally did. Nice. Well, and now that's fixed. Cool. So then we just run this dude over to here. And we should see Dragon's Breath show up in here in a moment. Once this guy goes online. There he is, 64 Dragon's Breath. As one might expect. Beautiful. That's what's up. All right, now we've automated Dragon's Breath. See, I told you we'd get there, right? Now for Dragon's Breath, let's just put like, you know, eight of them in here. And then you should just be Mr. Halitosis Generator, insert on black again, like everybody else has been. And that should be cool. Halitosis generator, dragon's breath, boom. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. I like it. Sweet. So that's another win for us. Cool. And that generates how much? 480,000 RF at 40 RF a tick. Not a lot. It's a, it's a very long lasting generator, right? It lasts for 10 minutes when we turn it on. See? 10 minutes. By the way, I totally installed a sound software back here. Sweet. All right, making progress. So now disenchantment generator is next. All right, so we should be getting way more Dragon's Breath than we need at this point, right? Though to be fair, we haven't gotten a lot. Um, I guess, you know, your pristine chance is only at 11%. We got it up to advanced tier, which is cool. Kind of let this sit for a few minutes. Uh, so it's still rare that we're going to get the dragon, the pristine dragon stuff. Uh, but that's okay. I think we'll be fine, right? Yeah, I don't I don't see a problem with that. So that should be cool, right? We'll just let this thing cook. Eventually he'll make another pristine, but we you get 32 per iteration. And remember, we use one every 10 minutes. That's a really long time. That's, you know, obviously only when it's running too, so, you know. So we've got 
all these running out. Now, Disenchantment, that's going to be a tricky one. That's going to be a tricky, tricky, tricky one. We're going to have to figure that out. Uh, so how do we automate enchanting? <laughs> all right, so thoughts and plans and such. Um, we could do the Arcane and Sorcelator. And I'm just curious what a level one, let's 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 compare how these how this enchanter works, right? So if I got like protection one, that would be an iron ingot and a little bit of essence of knowledge, which is easy to get for us, right? If we want to do protection and enchanter, we need some dark steel. So let's get like wow, that's a lot of dark steel. Doesn't protection go up to five? I guess not. Um could you get me a stack of dark steel? I want to see if it's worth doing. I'm assuming it's not. Actually, let's just do let's just do let's just do the arcane and source later, uh, and we'll just see. As long as it's not like a stupidly low number of, of duration, I think we'll be fine. So I need two Constantin gears. Did I never teach you Constantin gears? I guess not. Let's add in source later to the list of things that we want. Um, Constantin. You're what now? Is it nickel and copper? Is that what it is? It is copper and nickel. Yeah. Induction smelt up a storm. That shouldn't be so bad. Cool. And then Constantin gear. Cool. And then Ensorcelator. All right. So what if we popped this dude right here, right above the Magma Crucible? Right? So he's already going to get power, uh, which is neat. And uh, he could, if I configured this guy to output to the top, get Essence of Knowledge. Nice. Now, the Arcane Ensorcelator uses regular books. Is that right? not written books. So that's the benefit there, is we don't have to figure out feathers and uh, ink sacs. So I'm thinking what I'll do is this, right? And you should probably learn how to make blank patterns then, right? Because I'm assuming you don't know how to do that. Um, <laughs> can we get through this build before I run out of uh, slots here? I'm thinking the answer is no. I'm thinking not. Paper we have on the, yeah, we do, okay, cool. And how are we for string? Seen better days. Seen better days, Direwolf. Oh, we've got the wool gin from Project Red, and we have lots of white wool. That could be cool. I think that thing like has a durability use to it, but wouldn't be too bad. Can I just pulverize? I could totally just pulverize our wool as well. Why don't I teach you that? Why don't I teach you to pulverize wool? White wool, though. I'm going to remove you from the output. And then that's a recipe that goes in here. And then I'll have to use up one of those slots that I don't have, right? Uh, we're going to want the phantom face it with the that one. Yeah, that should be cool. So now you know how to make string. Uh, so that's that, that, and that. I don't know that I've got my sugar cane hooked up yet. I never did get around to that, did I? Not so much. Because I've been like really lazy about hooking these two dudes up to the to the thing, but eh, you know, at some point we'll have a need. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that protection one is a book plus an iron ingot equals protection one. So if I put that on the arcane and sorcerer, that should be cool, right? So I'm going to do that and then I think all I need to do is get some cabling up to this thing so if I did an interface okay uh, and then let's get some conduit for this smarty pants stuff okay and then ooh. How are you for channels over here, Chief? You're probably the full channels, right? Actually, no, that is, this line is the, 
Yeah, you're full on that side. You're not terrible on the right, on this side of it. Let's see. Yeah, so this side we're actually pretty full on channels, so we don't want to do that there. So let's just run this cabling. Actually, yeah, let's remove you, and I'm just going to run this straight back. All right, and then we can put you in here. And that should get me protection book. So now if I asked for a protection book, that should be craftable. And then you're going to arcane and source later. I'm going to get a kit to speed it up, along with a few augments. Cool. And we've got an enchanted book. My oh my. That's neat. Have I done it that way before? I don't even know. Pop you in there. Flip the lever. And you last for four seconds! Oh my goodness, that's really short. Not the end of the world short, but short nonetheless. Though it's only... Uh, I think we can manage that, right? Alright, <clears throat> so looking at the disenchantment generator, it seems like different enchants have different durations. Uh, I think looting might be a way to go. So let's do that one. Looting one. Uh, so higher levels obviously have like way more, but those are just harder to do. So what if we got a looting book instead, which shouldn't be too bad, it's just gold. Uh, it's a little bit, I think more, it's three buckets for the essence of knowledge, and then um, how much was protection? That was, so it's six times the experience cost in terms of essence of knowledge, but like, I think looting's gonna last a lot longer. Did I ever upgrade you? Nope. We should do that. That should help, right? Um, and this thing will last considerably longer, I believe. Let's give this a try. So if I popped you into there and turned it on. Ah, oh, yeah, see, we're talking a minute 20 there. So it's like six times more, but like it lasts like 80 seconds instead of like eight, so it's 10 times more duration-ish. Actually, it's 20 times because it was four seconds for production one, wasn't it? Yeah, so noticeably improved. Beautiful. What, what in the what? Where did you come from? Is that the side effect of one of the generators I'm running or... I don't even know. Anyway, that's the solution to enchantment, right? So like if we got another looting book here, which should be easy, right? Now looting books ain't gonna stack, so I'm only gonna stick one in the thing. I don't think they stack. Do they stack? I doubt they stack. I don't think enchanted books stack. Right, so we should have a looting book on its way. Yep, it's crafting. Sweet. Um, and then you will also get insert on black. Cool. All right, making progress. See, all the automations, how cool is that? So you've got a looting book and then you should insert on black. Ah, oh, beautiful, looting's there, nice. Okay, cool, so that automates looting for us, which is a nice approach, I like that, I like that. Now Frosty, we can put in there two seconds, two seconds. So like ice and packed ice last two seconds each. Snowballs last a quarter of a second each. <laughs> uh, snow itself, one second, makes sense. Uh, now I believe we have 2048 snowballs. So let's teach you, because snow is gonna last longer, and as much as I hate to use another slot here, but I think it's important to not have something that lasts a quarter of a second in that thing. Oh, we have one slot left. Oh, it's getting there. It's getting there. We're gonna we're gonna have a problem soon. But that's all right. We'll see what happens. So where's my snow production? I assume I would have put it back here somewhere, right? One of these guys makes snow. Yeah, he's a little bit slow. He could usually he could totally use a kit upgrade, right? Let's do it up. This was before we even had these automated, right? Shouldn't be too bad. All right, we make a resident kit and then we're cool and then this thing makes things faster. And uh, I might even want some speed upgrades for him. Easy peasy. You should be done now, kit. Nice, boom. Even better, liking it. All right, so that'll be good, right? We do it that way and then everybody's a winner.
and then down here. So Glacial will be easy, right? That was no big deal. So he's going to start auto-crafting. We will get you guys going here. And insert, not extract, and boom. That seems pretty cool. As long as you can insert faster than you, uh, than you consume, I'm happy. Right? Insert faster than you consume, please. Insert faster than you can consume, please. Please insert. Let's go. Why are you not inserting? What is your deal, chief? It's funny. Every now and then he decides to be a nuisance about being able to insert things. Yeah, no, explosions. Every now and then he's like, you know what, Dyer? I'm not going to listen to you. Maybe we just don't have enough extracts going on. Maybe we just have too many things being extracted. Would that help? It does. Yeah, maybe maybe just another... See, where are you coming from? How are you getting here? What's making you? Is it the halitosis generator? It could be the halitosis generator making endermites. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. Yeah, and you should be cool. I think you're cool. If you're not cool, we'll figure something out for snow. Like, we could totally figure out snow, right? Yeah, we could. I wonder if snow works in a, the compactor doohickey. A compacting drawer. Does snow work in a compacting drawer? Do I have snow in a drawer somewhere? I assume I have snow in a drawer somewhere. Because I have 2048 of it. That sounds very drawer-like. Yeah, there it is. It's in there. That's where my snowballs live. Snow work in a compacting drawer? It might. Man, my whole drawer system is, like, very full. Well, if it turns out that we can't keep up with things, then we'll be good. So that that's all eight of these, right? So this eight set is complete. Now let's start automating over on this side. Now other, other automations here shouldn't be too bad. Luckily, I put my magmatics near each other, right? So I can make an ender tank, right? Uh, which shouldn't be too bad. Bada bing, bada boom. And we can uh, fluid conduit this stuff, right? So how about we make you insert on red, you can be insert on red, and you can be extract on red without an insert. Does that seem fair? No extracts on you, and no extracts on you, and red die. Good, we have a bunch of that. I'm assuming I made this red, red, red. Yeah, is that something I did? Was I smart? And like, did this the, the color that I always use? Boop, boop, boop. Really, I didn't make you red, red, red? What color did I make lava then? Or am I out of lava somehow? I went with white, red, red? Why would I do that? Can someone explain to me why I did that? Seems like a weird color to go with. White, 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 red, red. Okay. White, red, red. You know, I wasn't gonna look, cause I'm like, I always do red, red, red. I was probably low on rose red at the time and was being lazy. So I say you extract always active and you guys get lava. Beautiful. But you're also going to need redstone, so we're going to deal with that in a sec. So over here, we're going to have pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, we're going to have an interface. Uh, which apparently need to craft. Or I have some more in my inventory that I didn't notice. Oh, I do already. Okay, cool. I don't need any P2Ps at the moment. But cabling, yes. Okay. And you'll be the same. You'll be extract on black, always active. And maybe we'll just throw an extra one in there just for good measure. Extract on black, always active. Yay. And uh, then we want to keep things in stock, right? Like redstone. So that when I come over here, you insert on black, and you're ready to go with redstone, right? Hooray! And you don't need anything. Uh, you need nether stars, right? So let's keep like five of you in here. Now these are the ones that hurt, by the way. Let's not let's not lose sight of the fact that this hurts a lot. But you're gonna insert on black, and you're gonna get nether stars. Yeah, beautiful, cool. 
If I concerned myself with Nether Stars, I'd probably have, like, a filter on here that would say only keep one in at all times. But, like, a stack of Nether Stars, not going to hurt. They last for a while. They last for two minutes. But they produce a stupid amount of RF. It's 4,000 RF a tick. Um, I guess that's not that stupid. Right? Now, what, what about my undeads? Uh, 20 seconds for Bones. 20 seconds for that. Wither Skeleton Skulls. They're all 20 seconds in duration. So, Zombie Flesh or Bones, huh? Zombie flesh or bones? I mean, we have a lot of bones. Holy cow, do we have a lot of bones. I guess bones is where we're going to be, right? I guess that's where we're going to land on this thing. So that will be insert on black. Nice. And then slime, huh? Because this thing only works with... Oh, and a bucket of milk. Yeah, let's uh, let's be prepared to automate that. We're gonna have to figure that out. Um, Cause there is the milk jar, isn't there? Yeah, from cooking for blockheads. But this like produces milk over time. Cow in a jar from cooking for blockheads and milk jar provides milk to recipes. But I don't think that cow in a jar is what we want. But I feel like cow in a jar might be a little bit slow. What's the duration of this? Twenty four seconds. You think we'll produce a bucket of milk every 24 seconds? I don't know. We're going to have to probably find out next episode because we're getting a little bit a little bit long in this one. We're going to need to do potions. We're going to have to find a good food, something that lasts a while, that's easy to make. 30 seconds for bread. That shouldn't be too bad, right? Am I doing wheat? Do I have wheat in here? Eh. Eh. I have a lot of potatoes, though, don't I? What did I automate in terms of foods? I have rice, don't I? Uh, no. I only have canola. Canola is the only thing I'm automating. Does canola have some kind of food source? Can I put that? I can't put canola in the in the thing. Yeah, I don't think I can eat canola in any way, shape, or form. Which is a bummer. So we're going to have to figure that out. Uh, maybe we'll... Add, I mean, I'm not really using canola anymore, to be fair. So I could totally, like, beg, borrow, and steal from the old setup here. Right, and we could add another type of of resource to this drawer system. Yeah, let's investigate that next episode. We'll pick a we'll pick a food type that we like for the culinary gen. Ender pearls should be easy, right? We know we have a lot of those, and it's a minute twenty each, so that's that's an easy one. So the main ones are slime and milk, uh, some kind of food and potion automation, which we'll do next episode, and that should be enough to get our our system going, right? Potions shouldn't be hard. We'll figure that out. Um, yeah, that's cool. FYI, if you right-click this guy, he tells you what's not running. If you turn him on, you'll see which four generators are not running right now. So that's our to-do list, right? And as a reminder, getting close to to this thing is bad. I guess wearing draconic armor is pretty pretty awesome. Though I did turn it off already. But yeah, being near these things hurt. Uh, so watch out for that. Don't get near them. Uh, for now, that's my sign off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time. We'll get those other three, four generators automated. And then we should have Rainbow Gen going. See, this is why I like Rainbow Generator. You have to automate all kinds of weird stuff. Like I have to figure out milk. I got to figure out potions, like automations that you don't normally do, right? And I'll just have to decide how I want to automate potions because we've got thermal. We could do it that way. Or we can just do the vanilla brewing station. I don't know. We'll figure it out. For now, though, take it easy.